I thought I would share my favorite um, top 10 things from Nordstrom right now because I had to make sure I was bringing only my very favorite things um, on this trip with me. And so it kind of separated my favorites from the rest. And of course, I'm gonna start with the thing that you guys have heard of multiple times, the LED mask. I know this is such a pain in the butt to travel with, but I couldn't leave home without it because it actually works. You guys may have seen that before and after pictures and I, I had to, I had to, I couldn't leave it at home. It's got the red lights and the purple lights or the blue lights. It's for wrinkles, it's for acne. Um, and this is like a number one necessity for me. So definitely the Dr. Gross LED mask. The second thing I couldn't live without was the slip silk um, silk pillowcases. I had a satin pillowcase and I was like, what's the difference? It's good enough. But then during the Nordstrom sale last summer, my mom and I actually like felt the difference and um, it's it's quite significant. Definitely worth the price. So I have um, two of them. One's on my pillow now and then one I have to switch when we do laundry. And uh, yeah, this is definitely, definitely a favorite of mine. One thing I definitely could not leave home without was my Supergoop Unseen Sunscreen. Um, this stuff is 100% necessity in um, like the summertime for me, in any sun. Even if worn alone, just straight over moisturizer without any foundation, it's, it just kind of like creates the, like a little bit of like a filter for your skin and it just knocks down the shine a little bit um, and helps it to look a little bit more evened out. But more importantly, it's got SPF 40 in it. This unseen sunscreen is great to use underneath any sort of foundation because it helps it to go on smoother, stay on longer. Um, but like I said, even if you wear this stuff just on its own, it's amazing. And this shouldn't really be in a category separate from the unseen sunscreen, but we've got the unseen sunscreen and the glow screen. So if you want a little bit more of a dewy finish, this glow screen has a little bit, a hint of um, tint to it. And you can definitely use this one on its own to just have like a little bit of a more dewy look. And this one, the Unseen, that doesn't have any color, this is clear. You can use this alone, but this one, Glow Screen, gives a little bit more, just a hint of coverage. Another one of my can't live without makeup products, especially for the summer and warmer weather. You guys are gonna make fun of me because look at how many tubes of this I brought. Okay, hear me out. This is the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. There's SPF 50 in these, in these little guys. Um, it's a color correcting full coverage cream plus anti-aging hydrating serum. Obviously, I like this a whole lot. I like it because the SPF, I like the finish that it gives. And the reason I have so many tubes of it is that we came down here in March and the more time we spend outside, I get a little bit darker, a little bit darker. I hate when my foundation doesn't match my skin. So with uh, this many tubes of it, hopefully I'll be set. So what I do is I layer this on top of my unseen sunscreen or my glow screen from Supergoop. And then I put this together with Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. So I just mix these um, so it's not as full coverage as it could be just used on its own. And then I li I've literally never had a problem with burning my face, no matter how long I spend at the beach, um, if I'm out in the sun because I've got so many layers of protection. It's just like, I really, really love this stuff for um, the SPF, SPF factor and the way that it looks on skin. It's just, it's awesome. It's a reason I've got like 20 different tubes down here with me. Okay, this is a purchase that I made on our way down and this is amazing, amazing stuff. This is Charlotte Tilbury's Cryo Recovery Eye Serum. It has this applicator that um, is cold. <laughs> So you basically, you put a little bit of the product underneath your eye and then you use the applicator and it's, I mean, this, the serum is in and of itself amazing. It really does help to reduce um, under eye discoloration and puffiness, but to put it on with this um, application just feels really, really good. And there's caffeine in here and there's um, eyes appear depuffed and brighter with ice awake. And um, I can attest to that. I really do love this stuff. This was an awesome purchase. So I first tried these nude sticks last year um, in the summertime because they're like multi-purpose makeup sticks that I thought would be super convenient if they, if they work and if I like them. 
Um, and since then, I have amassed a number of different colors in them. So yes, they do work. I like them a lot. Um, they have different, they have matte finish, and they have dewy finish, and they have highlighters and bronzers. So basically, they're, they're like I said, a multi-use makeup stick that you can use for cheeks, <laughs> eyes, and lips. And then highlighter you can use like at the you know bridge of your um, temples of your bridges of what is what is it? Cheekbones. Hello, top of your cheekbones, <laughs> right below your um, eyebrows, a little bit right here on the top of um, your cupid's bow, and then right in the tip of your nose, down the bridge of your nose. I like them better than powder because powder, especially in the summer, tends to kind of just get creasy and cakey and it doesn't, um, it just doesn't do well with like humidity and heat um, and older skin, fine lines and wrinkles. This stuff, I have, like I said, a number of colors now, but you can use this on your, um, all over your face for what, wherever you wanna use it. It comes with a brush on one side. I actually just would rather use my fingers because um, your fingers, the heat from your fingers kind of, kind of helps it kind of melt into your skin a little bit. So yeah, I really like these nude sticks um, for, especially for the summertime because it just gives like natural glow, a little bit of color. It's super easy and convenient um, and it's not like, it doesn't cake your skin with a bunch of different layers of powder makeup. So yeah, nudies, nude sticks. A top 10 of my favorites would not be complete without my ultimate all-time number one favorite makeup product, Charlotte Tilbury's Hollywood Flawless Filter. You guys, I love this so much. I have it in four different colors, not to mention the colors that I left at home. Just because you never know when you need to like lighten up a foundation or darken up another one. This is by far my favorite um, makeup product of all time. I mix it with my foundation when I want a little bit less um, intense coverage. I mix it with my moisturizer when I want like a little bit of coverage, but I don't want a weird foundation. I use it as a highlighter. Like this stuff is so good. There's a reason I have multiple bottles of it. This is the one thing like I would not want to um, get rid of in my whole makeup routine. I love this stuff, highly recommend it. Um, so yeah, Charlotte Tilbury's Hollywood Flawless Filter, my fave. Okay, I love all things Anastasia brow. Well, I love the brow whiz and the brow pom pomade, pomade, I never know how to say that. Sid always makes fun of me, but I love all of the brow, the brow stuff from her. So I thought, I mean, let's be honest, it's the, the glitter that caught my eye really, but this is a dewy set. And I thought I'd start with a small bottle just to see if I liked it because I really do like my um, Urban Decay setting spray. And this is a setting spray that has more of a dewy um, finish to it. I'm wearing it now. You can tell like it doesn't leave your skin oily or greasy, but it just has like a tiny little bit of like a non-matte finish. I will definitely be um, buying the, the, bigger, the bigger bottle once this is out. This is the Anastasia Dewy Set um, setting spray. I'm going to deviate from the beauty for a little bit. I can go on and on about all things beauty all day long, but I really do have to share these slides with you guys. I know that a lot of you guys had them like I did in the late 90s, early 2000s, and I saw them at Nordstrom and I was like, oh, I had those. But then I put them on, look at this. Okay, so I'm here with them on. I was wearing one before, take them off. Not only that, because I obviously I like to have a little boost in height, but they actually have like a cushiony footbed. And as they, like as you walk in them, this is not, hard or tight at all. It is like super stretchy. It's so much more comfortable than I thought they would be. I've never worn slides that are this comfortable, except probably in the 90s. I think I had a pair of Steve Madden's. I'm pretty sure they were Steve Madden's. I highly recommend, let me step down again. See, it really does help boost you up a little bit. But yeah, I love them with all things. I love them with beach pants and I love them with jeans and I love them with shorts and dresses. And there's a reason we, ha we all had them like to wear to all the graduation parties when we were in high school. So there you have my current top 10 favorites from Nordstrom. Um, some of my favorites, you might see, see that they don't really like change and there's a reason for that because you know, the favorites have to, they've stood the test of time and they've gotta be knocked off by a really good, really good product to get, to get off my favorite list. So um, let us know if you have any questions, if you wanna see any certain videos. Um, I'm especially excited to do some summer makeup tutorials. So let me know if you have any requests and thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.